Well, good morning. Uh, it's cold outside. It snowed yesterday. It's terrible. So I'm stuck in the house, and I did a little planning. Drew out a drew out a little plan of what I'm going to do for a cold frame. So I thought I'd share that with you and a couple other little things, so that you and I can be, we we can if you want to build one too, you kind of have the planning there. All right, here we go. <laughs> Well, okay, now here's what I've got. Now I'm just going to build a basic, you know, two before square. And the the measurement length is going to be about five and a half. I don't know exactly. And I'll explain that in a minute. And we're going to have hoops that we're going to make out of PVC. Now I'm only going to go about two feet wide. So I'm probably going to have to use a heat gun and form those hoops because if I don't, you know, it's going to be just kind of ridiculous. They'll, they'll want to bend in the middle instead of make a hoop. And here again, don't, you know, I don't put a lot of time into these drawings because really that's kind of not the point. Now here's one thing you got to know, and I made a note up here and I guess it doesn't quite show on the screen you got to have greenhouse plastic for this okay you can't do it and just use uh, plastic sheeting that you're going to get from uh, the box store or something like that because here's what's going to happen that stuff isn't UV stable okay so you put it outside in the weather and the sun's going to break it down and it's going to be cold in the spring and the next thing you know you're going to end up in a situation where uh, you're going to get a little breeze one night and that plastic's going to tear up and, and it's not even going to last a season for you. Well okay, now here's the thing. This is all made so that it can sit inside of a raised bed and I'm going to build a little raised bed and it'll be about two feet wide and it'll probably be about eight feet long but that's okay and I've got a uh, a piece of it's actually a beam that came out from under my front porch that I'm going to use I'm going to cut it in half and uh, then buy a piece of dimension lumber to go across the two ends and and you'll get and we'll we'll do this on camera we'll let you see it so anyway the idea is this will be covered with the greenhouse plastic. Now you can find that. Uh, I bought it uh, from eBay, my favorite store. But uh, you can Google and Google for greenhouse plastic remnants. Now mine, I think I paid eleven dollars and there was no shipping for a six by eight piece. Now I'm actually going to build two of these. That's part of the fun this week. Uh, my daughter has moved here in the last year to a new home and she wants to build a garden so I thought it'd be fun to build an extra one of these for her and that way she can sit it on top of one of her raised beds and have a little corner that she uses to start seeds in the spring and then when she's not using it you just take it off you put it in the shed so that's basically the generalities of what I'm going to do I just thought I'd share that with you in case now I'm using two befores because basically two befores are cheap that that's just about it you go down to to like um, uh, Home Depot or somewhere and you can get them for I don't know a buck and a half and I'm gonna eat, need two you know so that's inexpensive and I usually traditionally will use deck screws and I'll screw these hoops into the thing too because yeah, it just makes sense. I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, makes them nice and rigid. And you just throw the plastic over the top, fold it around, and staple it underneath. And then, like you say, 
you can you can either put seed trays with with peat pots or whatever on your raised bed and just set this over the top of them now the only thing is once you start using this you're gonna have to kind of watch a little bit and you know watch your weather and if it's gonna get warm today unnecessarily warm above 70 say you want to prop it up or even take it off if the weather's really nice for a day and so that it gets some ventilation. Propping it up is probably the best idea because at that point your, your things aren't hardened off. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple other little quick things and then get out of here. Like I say, this is what you would call a, a boredom video because it's too cold outside. This is the one thing that I'm planting this year that's different. I've never grown before and I think it's going to be lots of fun. But uh, I think I've got the right, you know, kind. This is... Uh, it's the only thing I don't like about Henry Seeds and Henry Fields, and this year they sent me, I ordered from Henry Fields, but it came in Gurney packets. Now, I know the two companies are basically the same. I just don't know, you know, what the differences are. But uh, I, that's the only thing about these companies, though. It would be nice if you had a picture on there. It looked better in a video, but it really doesn't matter. Uh so I'm going to try that. That's going to be the new, different, fun thing that I do this year. And I think that's always a good idea. Do something every year that's different. You know, something you've never grown before or something you've always wanted to grow. i got one more thing I want to show you. There's my onion plants. That's what they look like at this point. Now, the whole idea here is that come the middle of March, when, when it's time in my part of the woods... I got two of them here. I'll drag the other now. See if I can reach it. I kind of hit it behind my book. Uh, about the middle of March, when when it's time to set out onions, these should look the size of, say, a small green onion you'd buy in the store. And basically, what I'm going to do is just take the whole thing, peel the pot off, put the whole thing in a bucket of water just slosh the soil off of them and at that point you should be able to untangle the roots and separate your plants and put them in a garden all right well folks that's about it and i'm going to throw in a quick picture at the end off my phone of of my little setup in the living room and i just stuck this in a corner and basically it's just a regular old four foot shop light you can buy at walmart or anywhere and just plain fluorescent bulbs. You don't need grow lights for this. Just plain fluorescent bulbs. And that's what I'm using to start these in. And I'll try to remember to throw that picture in there. Alright, thank you very much. And I want you all to have a quality day.